back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so i'm going to be reading for the lovely star sign of scorpio so scorpio if you're new to my channel then i'll take this message when it finds you will resonate at that time because they're not time specific take what resonates leave what doesn't because i work with energy we're all energy and we're all connected so it can mean a message for you or it could be directly to someone else close to you in your energy field as we move along the reading i am drawn to one of my oils so uh, that is uh, something to look out for as we go along okay so with all that said and done oh i do have a fan on in the background because it's warm here in the uk so if you can hear anything in the background i do apologize i hope it's not coming through too loud on the microphone but it's so warm here today for a change i think summer has landed for three days <laughs> so let's have a look what we've got for scorpio so what have we got for scorpio 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 so the energy we've got for you scorpio is healing coming in a beautiful um card to start off with and it's got healing positive transformation is occurring on a soul level the answer to your question is yes so if some of you have been dealing um with health issues okay and you have been trying to sort of put some healing practices in place then this coming in from the spirit energy is saying whatever you're thinking at the minute to do with your health it's saying yes go ahead okay yeah you're on the right train of thought here yeah you're doing the right thing here but spirit coming to say this is what you're suffering at the minute this is what you need you need healing now this could be physical healing mental healing okay healing from a situation um within a work ethics it mean could be some of you sitting there thinking you know what i'm going up every day do i really need this in my life okay and should i leave this job and whatever it is the answer is yes go with your gut feeling okay go with your gut feeling so what else have we got going on for scorpio what else have we got on for scorpio and we've got complacency when i look at that because it's um sort of somebody feeling quite sorry for themselves but this could be to do with your health okay and it's as though this is how you feel you feel like you're stuck in a winter um type of energy you know like in the winter where we have to rest and um it's not like the summer is it like the summer's energetic we go places we do things we feel you know full of life but at the minute because of your health or a situation that you're in you feel like you want to keep yourself tucked away you feel like um you haven't got the energy you and it's like spirit are saying to you you've got to rest you've got to rest and by doing so you will heal okay that's not going to resonate for everybody but i do feel um there's this complacency energy around you at the minute because of whatever the underlying issue is and i feel for the majority it's health issues that has kept you i want to say not being able to do what you really want to do at the minute okay and it could it could even be a message of saying it started around the autumn time going into the winter of last year and it's taking such a long process okay um for the healing or the situation but i want to say yes you're coming out of this scorpio you are coming out of this energy okay so what else have we got going on for scorpio well and we've got to the moon and back okay and we've got she sort of wears like an angel wing as a as a dress and this is again spirit saying we know you've been in this i want to say even lost you felt lost scorps okay you felt lost 
I'm being drawn to one of my oils over here and I'm going to this one here called Into the Woods. Okay, beautiful oil. Okay, let's give it a shake for the energy. Into the Woods and it says on the little affirmation at the front, Help to leave your comfort zone. Take risks and attempt to change your life for the better. Change can bring fear, but with fear, know you're about to do something incredibly brave. And I felt like into the woods here, because one, for some of you, it's as though you couldn't see the wood for the trees okay we had yes on the back of that first card and as i said go with your gut feeling and sometimes we're fearful aren't we you know of change and what have you but this is sort of i was drawn to that to say exactly what it says here change can bring fear but with fear know you're about to do something incredibly brave Okay, so I was definitely drawn to that oil for you. Let's have a look what else comes out to the moon and back. A lot of thought, a lot of contemplation. Moon is attached with emotions as well. Um, so there's a lot of things going through your mind at the minute. Scorpio, okay. But we have keys on trees coming out next and I feel this is you literally having to walk and walk and walk and walk and it's it's just been a long process as I said I felt like this whatever this situation is it's been going on from autumn last year and this comes in to say You're going to break free from this energy. You are going to break free from this energy. I look at the elephant at the top and elephants are heavy, big animals. And it's there. It's the energy that I'm feeling. Everything was sort of plodding, slow. Okay. Whether, I, like I said, whether that's a situation you've been in or whether that is your own health that has kept you in this situation here. I've been, you know, just sitting and... Scorpios as a rule, or people are always on the go, always doing something, but you've been grounded, okay? In a sense, your energy has been grounded, but this is changing. This uphill struggle, you are going to be released from this energy. So, what else have we got going on? Some of you, it could be a house move as well, um, that you've been waiting on. And if a change of plan... You know, like sometimes you can go for a house and it falls through and then you can get really disappointed. Sometimes that's the universe saying, well, that wasn't the path and for you to, you know, that wasn't the house, that wasn't the property for you to go to. So for a small minority of you, um, it can mean that. But there's help here. There's a, a key to let you out of this really sort of subdued, hardworking energy that you've been in. Well, we've got, into me i see and this is um i want to go with the eight as well on this card i want to go with the eighth of the following month whenever you get this message it's as though you, you're coming back to life scorpio okay you're feeling like more energetic you feel like your energy is returning okay and as i said i feel for some of you it is to do with health health issues here um, that have kept you not being able to do what you want to do. Now, the health as well could be some looking after somebody else. Your energy has been put into looking after somebody else. But the 8th of the following month, things are going to start to regenerate. Your health or that person's energy or that situation is going to change for the better. So... What else have we got for Scorpio? And we have 
sad embrace. Okay. Again, this is just bringing out the energy of how you are feeling at the moment. Oh, Scorpio. You're feeling like you've been battling things on your own. You've kept a lot of things hidden. Okay, of how you're truly feeling. Into me, I see. This is going to slowly start to change. And you will feel brighter and you will feel happier in yourself. Whoever I'm picking up here with the energy, you've kept so much bottled in, Scorpio. And for a long time. As I said, I'm going back to autumn, winter last year. You've gone into this cycle, this phase. But the be grateful that that card here of the keys on the trees there's a way out there's a way out of the darkness okay in order to make you feel alive again and out of this energy I feel like I want to pull another wisdom card for you let's just grab this deck back again what else have we got for Scorpio? And we've got trickery. But I feel like the tricky trickery on this occasion is your own mind playing tricks on you. Okay? Getting into a sort of energy a situation at this level thinking out you know is there any escape here out of this me feeling like this because i go with the green as well about healing green is a color for healing and sometimes we do have to do that trick our own minds and bodies in a sense of no, I'm okay. I don't feel any pain today. So if you wake up on a morning, okay, and yeah, you might have issues, back pain, hip pain, wherever the pain is, and you get up and go, oh, the pain, the pain, the pain. You'll go through the whole day, okay? You will go through the whole day focusing on that pain. But this is where the trickery comes in of, I can't feel that pain, even though we know it's there, guys. I can't feel that pain today. No, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Mind over matter. And sometimes we, the uh, power of meditation and just the power of thought going into our bodies. No, I'm healed. I'm going to be better. I am better. Because if you dwell, it'll stay. I'm not saying I can make wave a magic wand and it disappears but we can learn the trickery of our own minds and bodies to get to this of healing that's why i felt i had to pull another card out for you so let's have a look what your animal spirit card is what else have we got for scorpio 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 Well, we've got the hummingbird and it's the alchemical sign of air and it's about communication. And can you see the darkness that was around here? And now we've got the illumination. So there's some news going to be coming. OK, and you are going out of this darkness. You are recovering from this situation, whatever it is you have been in. But I do feel there's some good news going to be coming in for you as well there's going to be some good news coming in i'm now going to um pull out a card 
and it's a new deck I've had so I am going to use a little booklet to read out the affirmation on it it's called colour mirrors oracle cards okay it's a system that I'm sort of looking into I've always been a big believer of colour affects your aura okay so let's have a look what we've got for you Scorpio what have we got for Scorpio right oh we've got two you're the first one to have two out so I am going to go with the two okay because I feel you are transitioning here you've been in this dark energy here of the sad embrace moving into the lighter energy so let's have a look at the first one. Oh wow Scorpio look new beginnings olive hope okay so let's have a look at that one first. Let's find the olive hope. Here we go. And it says the olive tree is planted in the hope that future generations can harvest and enjoy the fruit, just like the olive tree. Your ancestors have been waiting for generations for this moment in time. You are the hope and the moment in time they have been working towards. Your time has come to claim your feminine nurturing and creative power and help the planet and all of humanity step into a brighter future. Right now you are offered spring and new opportunities for personal growth and change. Let go of the fear that you will make the wrong choices or that the old patterns will repeat themselves. Look to nature and see how after a heavy storm, fire or flood, nature always grows back more beautiful and stronger than before. Claim your new beginning and enjoy the ride. It is going to be awesome. Wow, that made me feel quite emotional. Um, the reason being, I was just looking at what they said there. One about the fear, and didn't we have about the fear in the cards? And look to nature and see how, after a heavy storm, nature always grows back. And isn't it strange how I was drawn? to that oil for you, into the woods, nature, into the woods, I'll give that another shake for the energy, I love these oils, yeah green as well for healing, right then, so Mr and Mrs Oddities of the Scorpio world, we had another one come out for you, because you're different, <laughs> and we've got gold, metal, Elemental, the alchemist coming out with number 14. One and four is five. Five is about change. So let's have a read what he says about this one. Gold. Gold. Gold, metal, elemental. Right. You are in the process of alchemy and huge changes in your life. Alchemy turns base metal into the precious metal of gold through spiritual power. You can shift your feeling of having no value in being human to claiming your precious golden self. The precious golden self can be reached by digging deep into your cells, a process of self-analysis where you bring to your conscious mind any negative patterns or belief systems buried in your unconscious for clearing till you can see your divine light. The process of attaining gold metal is the same. We have to dig deep into the earth and bring the rock to the surface and then extract the gold to see its beauty. Right now, you have the power to find the most extraordinary solutions to your problems and situations. Call on your inner alchemist to help you transform what seems to be completely irresolvable. See him as a shimmery, being of liquid gold that will turn all your dark situations into lighter ones everything is going to be all right oh scorpio that's absolutely beautiful so yeah i really do hope um you can take something from that message today my lovely scorpios i feel like i'm there's something hiding behind here because i was wanted to go with the gold element look and this is um, Felix Felicis, liquid look, okay? It's a funny name, Felix Felicius, liquid look. 
So because it was the gold, I felt like I was drawn to the gold on that card here. The alchemist. Yeah. Good look. Liquid look for you, Scorpio. I just wanted to give that a little shake to finish this reading. So, my lovely Scorpios, if you are new to my channel, please consider and hit the subscribe button. I'm not forcing your arm or anything, but any um, emojis, anything just to help my analytics um, because I have been off the radar for a while and I am trying to bring back uh, my channel up a little bit as you can appreciate but it just gives something back to me as well so until next time you take care of you and I'll see you on the next one bye then